Welcome to Living Supernaturally with yours truly here, David Martin. And uh, this is not going to be our regular weekly program other than coming out on the same day. It usually happens. But uh, I wanted to just get a video out to encourage you. Praise God. I'll tell you what, I've never heard so much uh, uh, concerning talk in the body of Christ. And people are worried and fearful with what's going on in the world today. And and the economy and i tell you what i just want to give you an encouraging word jesus is on the throne amen and uh, when when all of this happened and you know the, the world got shut down because of this virus and the economy shut down and, and i mean there's all these things that happened it did not take god by surprise there was no thump in heaven no one fell off the throne jesus didn't all of a sudden you know, fall off his throne and say, oh my God, Dad, I didn't see this one coming. No, no, no. They knew before the beginning of time that uh, we we would be here. As a matter of fact, you'd be watching this right now and we'd be in this place. Again, none of this is taken by God by surprise. He knew from before the foundation of the world when he called you and appointed you to come to this planet and fulfill the mission he knew today was going to happen. And hey, here's the good news. He promises us and tells us that all things work together for good. Amen. For those that love God and are called according to his purpose. Woo! Hallelujah. I tell you what, we have reason to shout. We have reason to be excited because as I've been saying since the beginning of the year, I, I believe we are in the most incredible time ever. I believe we're going to see a wealth transfer. I, I believe we're going to see the greatest harvest ever. I mean, we're talking about uh, billions and billions of people being saved in, in, in this time that we are in right now. How it's going to play out, I don't know. But what I do know is is God is a good God. He hasn't lost the recipe for manna. If he needed it, he can supply it. He can do like he did for Elijah and, and have a bird, uh, a, 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 what was it now when I say a crow? <laughs> I forget what kind of bird it was, a raven, I guess it was. But anyway, he brought food to Elijah and fed him. You know what's interesting is Elijah was in exactly the right place where he needed to be you know, if he was off course by half a mile, can you imagine that raven bringing food to the wrong location? But, you know, I believe this. We are in the right place at the right time. And it's really interesting. I've heard uh, a few different people talking about this, how there is a parallel between the, uh, the Passover, you know, back uh, 4,000, I guess 4,000 years ago, uh, when the Passover happened, when Moses led the people out of Egypt, and uh, but the with that Passover happened, is, is uh, you know the that was celebrated here at Easter, you know, three days before Easter, when the Passover was actually, but then what happens is after Passover, uh, you have you know the, the 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 resurrection, you have the feast of new fruits, and then. 40 days later, or 50 days later, you have Pentecost. Now, Pentecost is going to happen here the end of uh, this month, end of May. I think it's actually uh, May 31st is when it's celebrated. Uh, the last, I think it's the last Sunday in May, on the calendar in front of me. But in any event, May 31st is Passover. But what we see is such, a, such an incredible parallel from the, them coming out of Egypt. And then when, what happened is when they came out of Egypt, none of the plagues, I mean, they were in this special place called Goshen. They were supernaturally protected, as I believe, I, I know God's word is true. We, we put our faith in him and the blood. What happens is no 
no plague is going to come nigh us. Amen. They, they were protected in Goshen from all of the plagues. And then when the death angel came, the blood on the doorpost protected them. And that's, of course, why we celebrate, or the Jews celebrate, really. And, and, but we follow that same, you know, uh, following that celebration of that in, in recognizing Passover. But this was the first year since Jesus died on the cross that the church has not participated in the Passover celebration. And because we have been contained to our houses, well, the same thing happened, you know, 4,000 years ago when the, when the original Passover happened, you know, they were constrained to their house. Anyway, I, I don't have all the details on this, so other people have done a great job. The point is, there's a correlation between Passover 2020 and Passover when they when the death angel came and, and the death angel passed over. All that said, I believe we're about to watch something happen here in the next couple of weeks that's going to be off of the chart. And most importantly, though, is you just need to know God's a good God. None of us took him by surprise. He has planned for this event in, in, in this time frame. And you're going to you're going to watch God do incredibly awesome things. Now, one of the reasons I'm 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 kind of rushing along here because I want to get this done, because I want to send this video out, that hopefully you might get opportunity to watch it uh, prior to something that we're starting here. We started actually a few weeks ago, and that is on Tuesday nights we're doing a uh, pray our praise and prayer. And I want to invite you down in the down in the information below the video here is going to be all the information you need to join in at uh, it'll be seven o'clock central time. So if you're in uh, you know in, in the East Coast, that's going to be eight o'clock your time. And what's going to happen is from seven to eight o'clock, We've done it for the last two weeks. We're going to be continuing to do it here uh, for the next, I actually programmed a Zoom call for the next eight weeks. So every Tuesday night, and normally it's going to be just prior to our, our, our my weekly teaching video that would come on at 8 o'clock. Uh, central time and again that would be nine o'clock if you're on the east coast if you're on the west coast you know that would be at six o'clock your time but for the next eight weeks anyway we'll see how, how how this plays out but we're going from for one hour prior to the youtube premiere we're going to have a time of a praise and prayer we've done it for the last couple of weeks we've got some really great feedback on that and again, so we're going to be doing that here for the next, uh, you know, until God says stop. But I already got a plan for eight weeks. So the link that's down here uh, in, in the description, uh, you can use that for the next eight weeks and uh, to, to, to join us on this time of prayer and praise. Or praise and prayer. I got it right. Woo! I'm feeling the anointing so strong here already. But anyway, so. Uh, I'm going to continue next week. That's my plan anyway. We, we missed last week and then this week because, as you probably know in my emails, we are in the process of moving. So the the backdrop here in my office this is the last time you're going to see this backdrop because uh, as of Saturday, we'll be in the new office. But uh, for the last two weeks, it's been really, really, really hectic in our office. We're preparing to move. And then on top of that, as you probably read in my emails as well, we have the financing for the prayer app, praise God, and we're in full steam, full development. We got an incredible team uh, working on this. Actually, about six or eight people are working on it, and uh, so we're planning on launching the prayer app probably August, September. We'll have some of the some of that. We're actually going to have some of that probably before that, and we're going to be looking for people that want to do testing. So if you want to be part of that, you let me know. But in any event, uh, next week we're going to get back on schedule with our weekly program and continuing in walking and living in the glory. Amen. What an exciting time you and I get to be a part of. Amen. So I just want to encourage you. Know that God's on the throne and uh, he's got your back covered. You know, in this series we're talking about walking in the glory and the glory is our rear guard. 
And, and again, one of the things we're going to be doing tonight, so many people that, that I'm hearing from are, are, are just dealing with different levels of fear and worry and concern about the economy and, and what's going to happen with this report and that report. Just know God's report. We win. God's got a plan for good, not for evil. You're the head, you're not the tail. You're above, you're not beneath. And, and this is the age, this is the time frame you and I have been created for. This is the time he's prepared us for. Everything in your life experience up to this point has been preparatory for this day and this hour. And, and, and I, I believe we're going to see the, the, what Jesus said, that he who believes in him is going to do what he did and even greater. I believe this is the time and the hour and the season we're going to see that in a, in a, in a fuller way that, than we've ever seen before. Signs, wonders, and miracles. And know that uh, God's going to use you to make an incredible difference. Amen? All right. So hopefully you might get a chance to see this prior to... Uh, seven o'clock on uh, what's today? <laughs> today was the, today's the twelfth, right? Twelfth, yes. So you know, at, at uh, seven o'clock tonight. But then again, uh, every Tuesday night, you, you know, even though you may not get it ahead of time tonight, just know every Tuesday night for the next eight weeks, we're going to be having a kind of a living supernatural church of sort, where a time of praise and and, and prayer. And uh, we want to encourage you to join us. Again, all the information is down below in the description. And every Tuesday night at 7 o'clock Central Time. So that'll be 8 o'clock on the East Coast. If you're on the West Coast, it'll be uh, 6 o'clock. No, no, 7 o'clock. <laughs> we're going to get this right. Here, it's going to be 7 o'clock our time. This is for prayer and praise. And then I get this confused with my YouTube program, which is usually at 8 o'clock. And uh, which is no program tonight. So um, we'll be back on track next week. So 8 o'clock is the program, but prayer and praise, praise and prayer, it goes from 7 to 8 Central Time, East Coast, it'll be 8 to 9, and then uh, West Coast will be 5 to 6. Woo! I think I got that right. Anyway, appreciate you. Thank you for being a part of our ministry. It was a special, special thank you to so many of you that have done extra. Uh, as we've been kind of quarantined here and, and lots of meetings have been canceled, I, I just want to say thank you to all of you that have stepped up to the plate to help, you know, with the overhead of the ministry and, and supporting us and even helping with extra gifts for our moving expense this week. I want to just say thank you, thank you, thank you for your help in the ministry. And uh, so, hey, join me live here now, 7 o'clock. Again, it's going to be live. Uh, you get a chance to use your video camera, your audio on, on your computer, or you can call in by phone even, however you want to do it. But hopefully you can, if you, you can join us tonight. If not, next week and for the next eight weeks, we'll be there every night at 7 o'clock <laughs> Central Time on Tuesday night. Amen. Hey, God bless you. And uh, thank you again for your support, your prayers, and uh, look forward to catching you here in a live show real soon. God bless. Oh, 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 oh,